Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today, I took Danny to Walmart. Guys, it's crazy. I didn't realize how much of our stuff is coming from overseas. Now, Danny and I raise a lot of our foods, and I know a lot of the fresh fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables, I guess, are imported, and if you're buying them in the store, they're not necessarily from America. And I knew that part. But we weren't buying vegetables because we don't need vegetables. We were looking for me some clothes. Okay, I needed some things, shoes in particular. So we went to the shoe department and I bought two pair of shoes. One was on sale, five bucks. You can't beat a pair of tennis shoes for five bucks. The other, I needed an insulated type boot when it's cold outside, my feet freeze. I have my um, sloggers for mucking through the um, barn and stuff like that. But when I'm outside and it's really cold and we're just working and doing things outside, my toes get really cold. So he said, you need some insulated boots. So we went to do that. And while we were there, I'm like, okay, I need some socks and I need some underwear. First time in a while I bought either. And I, and I usually just go pick up some little, um, the little anklet socks and things like that to wear around the house. But I needed some thick socks. So guys, we went shopping through Walmart. Got through, got our stuff, got home. I got a pretty good deal because the shoes, these here, were marked down to five bucks. Okay? They're men's shoes, but I got a seven and a half in men's fits me, which is an eight and a half in women's. And I like these because in the back, they have this piece of... Um, elastic that stretches and this part here will bend down so I don't even have to untie them I can put my foot in pull this back and slip it up on my foot like a slipper so I thought you know that's pretty cool for five bucks you can't beat them I can wear them around the house and like if I go off to town and things like that cheap pair of shoes so when I got home I was thinking where are these shoes made Walmart used to be famous for being uh, made in the USA. And I was pretty sure we don't have shoe factories in the USA. And I found it somewhere. Let me find where I saw it. Right here. Okay. This has on the tag USA. It's got a dot and it's got USA. But I'm thinking, okay, somebody glances down and they see that and they're going to think, oh, it's a USA made shoe. Read a little further. This one says, man-made fabric, uh, tells the type fabric and stuff. Right at the bottom, it's got another dot, made in China. Just because it, somewhere at the beginning it says USA, it did not say made in USA. It just had USA. So that meant it was being shipped to the USA. So if we weren't getting goods from China, I wouldn't have got these shoes, right? Got me thinking. All right, this pair of shoes. You know, usually I'm not one to really pay origin that much attention, but since we're doing origin and I thought of it, these, these are nice insulated shoes. It's a hyper tight boot. And so just for being around outside and doing things outside, they were perfect. I tried them on again, a seven and a half in a men's. You don't find this in a women's in Walmart. Women's shoes in Walmart are flip flops, house shoes, tennis shoes, and cute boots. Okay, cute boots don't get it here at Deep South. Danny told me I couldn't have cute boots. I have a couple pair already. All right, so I had to hunt for this one. And I kept looking and I finally found it again on the tag inside. This one, right at the bottom, made in Vietnam. I told you there's no shoe factories in America. Very few, I'm sure. But, okay, so two products. I only bought four products, people. I bought socks. Now, in the women's department, I couldn't find some thick socks like I wanted. Everything in the women's department were thick. I paid $3 for one pair. 
Okay, I went over the men's department. I got 12 pair for 10 bucks in the men's department. Ain't nobody seeing my socks anyway. Does it matter that they're gray? Does it matter that it's men's socks? I don't think so. But again, country of origin. So I looked and looked and I finally found on the front, made in China. All right, four products, three of them, not made in US. Made in China. But they look like some good socks, good deal to get 12 pair for 10 bucks where in the women's department, the same type sock that came up on your ankle, up on your legs and was this thick were three dollars a pair. All right, the fourth thing. And guys, if you don't want to see women's underwear, turn your head. I bought some hangers. I used to get anywhere from eight to twelve pair in a pack. And this has only been a year, year and a half since I bought any that um, I got them. And I was thinking under 10 bucks for eight to 12 pair, according to how they marketed them. Okay, this is six pair. And guys, it was $10 for six pair. And I'm like, no way, Jose, this is crazy. So, country of origin on this one. Made in Thailand. Okay, guys, I remember when my aunt worked in a factory that made underwear for people, for women. They were, all, they were all over the place here in the South. My aunt worked 20, 30 years in a factory making women's underwear, women's uh, slips, and women's um, nightgowns. That factory's done since going out of business. I get that. But now, where, where is our clothes coming from? Where are our shoes coming from? What if we can't get from other com countries? What's going to happen? This just got me to wondering about these things because I can't grow shoes. I don't know how to make shoes. Shoes is going to be a biggie. And what, who knows how to make shoes in the U.S. anymore? Danny's grandfather used to be a cobbler. He knew how to make shoes. He knew how to put them back together. He knew how to resole them, all this stuff. But he didn't teach anybody. We don't know how to do that anymore. I can sew a little bit. If I had to make my underwear, I think I could. I know enough about sewing to figure that part out. But socks, I know how to crochet. But if you don't have thread, how are you going to crochet and make you some socks? Or how are you going to knit and make socks? I think you could make them out of fabric if you had to. It probably would not be that hard. They would not be the soft, cushy socks that we have now. I get that. But that just got me to thinking. When we say we're sustainable, are we really? Are we really, really sustainable? How many things in your house has a tag that wasn't made in the U.S.? How many things in your house did you not grow or produce on your homestead? Guys, we might grow food. There's a lot of things Danny and I do here, but Almost everything has to have something that comes from a store, whether it is nails when we're building, the vehicle we ride around in, the fact that we need gas for that vehicle, the fact that if I need to cook, I have a pot. If I want to eat, I've got to have a plate and a fork. If I want to drink something, I've got to have a glass. Where do all these things come from? I didn't invent them on my homestead. I did not make them. And this is kind of where I was at today. Just some food for thought from crazy days. Just how sustainable are you on your homestead? Stop and think. Everything you pick up tomorrow, think, did I produce this on my homestead? Can I produce this on my homestead? And did it come from the United States? If it didn't, it could go away. And that's kind of disturbing. Just some food for thought for you. Thank you guys from crazy days.